Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So if you're new here, what we usually do is I showcase a deck. We talk about how the card stock is. I show you all of the cards and at the end, I give it a shuffle and choose a card to read. Um, so that if there is a guidebook, you would also have an idea of how the guidebook reads. And for today, we have this tiny deck called the Maman Miyuki Tarot. Tarot de Marseille. So this is, uh, sorry, let me focus that. So this is a Japanese artist, Maman Miyuki, and they uh, ba they created this deck, hand drawn and painted, based on the Tarot de Marseille system. So uh, it is a smaller deck. Later on, I'll show you how it compares to a tarot. So this is what the sides look like. Now, I am not sure if this is available mass market or if it's indie. I did get this secondhand in one of my Facebook tarot trade groups. And I was just really drawn to it. Uh, I don't have a lot of TDM, tarot de Marseille decks. But recently, I have had uh, a more a growing appreciation for PIP style decks or TDM style decks. And this one is just so unique that I had to have it. And it was being sold at a really reasonable price. Uh, so this is what the cards look like. The backs are mm, reversible. And it's not it's not too thick. It's not too thin. I like I like the cardstock. It's uh it's also flexible and bounces back really well. So the size for the size, this is how it compares to a standard tarot size deck. And it's, I don't know, I, I don't mind. I actually really like it because it is this small and this tiny. And yeah, I haven't had any issues shuffling this deck. Later on, I'll show you as well. So it comes with these two fold outs. Uh, one is in English. So it just has some uh, information about Tara de Marseille. And then, um, then just some keywords for the majors. And doesn't have a lot for, it doesn't tell you about the minors. Yeah, because this is already in uh, Japanese. <laughs> okay, so no meanings for the minors, which is, uh, which you could also look up or use other references for. But basically, a Tarot de Marseille is a little bit different from the RWS. Aside from it being a pip deck, you do have to know the meanings or the, numer uh, the numerological meanings of the cards because you don't have the imagery that can um, prompt you in the pips or in the minors. So... Uh, there is a little bit of a border. You have the name at the bottom. And I really like the art style. Let me just move my crystal so it doesn't reflect the light. When I first started using tarot, I was, I don't know, like really intimidated by pip style decks. But or it's not something, it's not a preference of mine. Um, but now I think I've, I, my collection for pips, uh, for, for decks with minors that have pips or non illustrated minors have grown quite significantly. But I do like uh, pips that are, uh, how do I? stylized you know I, I just don't want to see pip decks that have let's say if it's eight cups you just have eight cups randomly <laughs> you know shown on the card i like when it looks like this like the symmetry of it all it's appealing to me and my ocpd brain So as always, feel free to slow down, speed up, or pause if you want to take a closer look at the cards because I do tend to go through these flip-throughs rather quickly. 
the courts are illustrated. I just really like the look of these cards. The aces are, look so grand. We have these details um, together with the cups or the chalices. And you also have the numbers so that it's easy easy to to know what number you're looking at. The courts are the valet, the cavalier, uh, the rain, uh, I guess, uh, rain, 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 and the roy. And the swords. To make it easier to distinguish between the swords and the wands, the wands would be straight and the swords would be curved. Then you have the coins. It's really pretty. I don't know. I I don't know if it's my art style um, evolving, but I'm pretty sure that when I first started, you know, if you were to ask me if I found these uh, deck, this deck really pretty when I first started reading tarot I would probably say it's not my style but now I'm just quite drawn to it I do still prefer my illustrated miners though but yeah I'm getting more drawn to more pip decks recently okay so let me just show you how this shuffles so I'm not gonna zoom out too much because it is a small deck so even if it's a small deck, uh, the cardstock is flexible enough for me to get a really good mix with the riffle. I can bridge it just fine. Yeah, and no issues with that. I can also overhand it just fine. It doesn't clump, it doesn't stick. It is a little bit small, so the issue would be it might just fall all over. Uh, it also fans quite well. I have limited space to fan, so <laughs> yeah. And let's see, let's just, let's just see if I can get a jumper with this. Because it's so small, it does have a tendency to go all over the place, but yeah, it still works. So I have here the sun and the moon, probably not shuffled as much. So since we both have, uh, we got both of the majors, let's just look at what the foldout has to say for these cards. So for the sun, grow up well for success and completion. The reverse would be a problem in communication. And, oh sorry, so it is the star, it is not the sun, it is the star and the moon. So for the star, hope, potential, richness, and the reverse would be cannot trust yourself for your stubborn heart. And for the moon, advance to good direction only with the help of one's intuition. And the reverse is the sense of fear and choosing the visible easy way. So yeah. So let me just lay this out. In case you want to see how it would look like if it's laid out in a spread yeah I really like the color I like the art style I don't mind that it's pip it's a pip deck it is a Tara de Marseille inspired deck so that's to be expected and yeah it's just something that I am very much happy to have in my collection 
and that's why I love um, joining the tarot trade groups, market, tarot marketplaces here in the in the Philippines because it, it gives me a chance to pick up these. I think it's quite rare. I've not seen it sold elsewhere, uh, you know, because it, it gives me a chance to pick up some really cool decks that I otherwise wouldn't have in my collection. All right. So that has been the flip through of the Maman Miyuki Tarot de Marseille. If you find this video helpful, please click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos like this at least once a week. See you again next time. Bye!